I want to talk to you about the Impulse 7000 defibrillator and pacemaker analyzer from Fluke Biomedical today. Um, this is the Impulse 7000. You can see um, we have it uh, all set up. We even have some ECG leads connected to it. This unit is designed for testing any defibrillator, including AEDs, and the transcutaneous uh, temporary pacemakers that are integrated into defibrillators. So uh, as you can see here, we have it set up with the plates uh, for if you're going to use paddles, they just go right on the plates just like that for you to control the defib and deliver the energy. Or we can remove the plates and we can connect uh, the uh, quick combo uh, leads, uh, the adapters you can get right from uh, Fluke Biomedical. Uh, so you can just order those and they just connect up nicely and those are really hands hands off so you don't have to worry about uh, any any energy uh, mishaps so if we uh, we want to talk about the ECG connection posts up here these are designed for uh, up to 10 ECG leads which gives us a 12 lead ECG signal and they're really secure and easy to connect your ECG lead wires too, no problem there. So how do we select up what we want to do? You can see on screen it says uh, select a function, in other words tell me what to do. So we would follow the function keys on this side of the screen and so let's start with <clears throat> DFib. Now you can see here that once we have selected DFib as the category that we want to test now we have different kinds of tests that we can do. Energy, synchronization time, charge time tests. And we can select a load if we have the 7010 uh, external load accessory. <clears throat> we could <clears throat> select our load there. Otherwise, as you see here, we're selecting the internal 50 ohm load. All right, so let's pick the DFib energy. So we can send a waveform if we want to, but you can see that the Impulse 7000 is actually ready uh, to deliver energy right now. So we just charge up our defibrillator. And we have 20 uh, joules selected, deliver our energy. And you can see that we immediately get uh, not only the energy level um, displayed on the screen, but we get the wave pattern. So in this case, it's monophasic. I did not have to tell Impulse 7000 what to look for. It told me what it measured and what it saw based on the uh, energy delivery. So that's kind of important. Um, it tells you what it sees. If it was a more modern defibrillator, it would, or uh, a, uh, a AED, it would have shown us biphasic. One of the things that's important when we do defib energy tests is to actually visualize, to be able to see that wave pattern. And so on the back of this unit, back over here, are uh, the oscilloscope output that we can use to actually see what that wave pattern was. We also have a delayed ECG output so we can see the ECG signal that we're actually delivering to the DFib. And we have the uh, USB port where we uh, can control this uh, from uh, software uh, on a computer. So that's DFib. Uh, energy testing. We'll go back and now let's pick um, the pacer. So this is going to test transcutaneous external pacemakers that are integrated into the defibrillator. You can see that we have the uh, kind of uh, pacer, uh, the ability to select that. So we want to select Zoll because that is the pacer that we have connected to it. Now if we just leave it on the defib uh, energy uh, inputs here, the problem with that is though 50 ohms is not necessarily the appropriate load for uh, every brand and model. So the best way to do this is to move our connections from the, uh, from the 50 ohm load and connect them over here on the uh, pacer uh, inputs. and. Now, we, when we've selected the brand, we have already selected internally to the Impulse 7000 the load appropriate for that brand. 
Um, we want to also tell the Impulse 7000 that we're using the Pacer posts, and then we want to pick Done. Now we're ready to receive energy from the pacemaker, as you can see that we're doing right here. So these are all of the pacer parameters that we would do, and you will always do a pacer parameter test. In addition to those tests, you will have other tests that are required not only by the uh, international standards, but also may be required by the manufacturer. And those would be asynchronous tests or demand mode tests, uh, and there are a few more tests depending on what it is that the, the manufacturer requires. All right, ECG. The ECG waveforms, is, these are simulated waveforms that are delivered through the lead wires and they're also delivered through the uh, pads or paddles uh, connections. So we have a variety of different categories of wave shapes that can be, uh, that can be displayed and sent to the, uh, the patient monitor part of the defibrillator. And this is important when you're going to do AED testing. So you can select a, a whole lot of different arrhythmia waveforms here. We're not going to go into all of them right now. So at this point, you have had a quick introduction to the Impulse 7000. You've seen a test uh, for patient pacer parameters, and you've seen a defib energy output test. We suggest that if you want to know more, you go to flukebiomedical.com, our website, and you can pick up from the product drop-down, you can pick defibrillator analyzer and Impulse 7000. And the neat, neat thing about that is you can ask for a quote if you're ready, or if you want to go try this out on your own, you can ask for a demo, and we'll make sure that you get a unit to try out for yourself.